what in the world is going on in the real estate market in our area. Hi, I'm Eric Lowry with the Lowry team in eXp Realty, and today I want to talk about what is exactly going on in the real estate market. There's a lot of opinions being floated out there, a lot of people throwing things out there that seemingly they think are facts, a lot of it nationally, but I really want to dig into what's going on in our area because I believe all real estate is local. I'm certain of that. So let's tackle it. What's going on? I'm getting a lot of questions lately from past clients and people I meet and talk for what's going on. That's their question. What's really happening? And so let's let's tackle it. First, let's talk about sales. What's going on with home sales? In the last three months, so this is the December housing report. So the three months I'm talking about here are September, October, and November of 2023. The most recent three months that we have a full data set for. Um, and I like to use three months versus just a single month because it, it shows more of a trend. Any one month can be, um, you know, just weird stuff can show up in it. Numbers can be affected by small things. Three months gives us a bigger, more accurate look at the numbers. So what's going on in sales? In that time, home sales are down. And this is where, boy, it's really gotten uh, more um, area specific. Some areas, home sales in our, but in our area, sales are down 11%-ish. Quite a few areas where I saw that they were the, the percent down over the same period last year was down about 11%. There were some areas, though, that were more than that. Saw some 16s and 17%s down. The highest I saw was down 24.96% in unit sales versus the same time last year. That's a big decrease considering last year in those three months, we were already starting to see the slowdown. So to be down on a down, so to speak, is um, pretty significant and it's not unexpected based on how the markets felt the last three months. So home sales are definitely down. My guess is as we move into the first quarter, we're gonna start to see the percentages up and down stabilize. We're gonna be a lot closer to the single percents up or a single percent down based on the area. That's just a little bit of a looking ahead prediction, but home sales in those three months we're talking about definitely were down. But then you come to price. What's going on with prices? Home prices across the board pretty much are up and up quite a bit. The percentages hovered in most areas right between the nine and 10% increase up over the same time last year. So home sales are down but home prices are continuing to go up. It's quite a divergence there, and the reason for it is the lack of inventory. There's just so few homes for sale that when a nice home comes on the market and it's priced right, so we're assuming that, it's going to sell very quickly and still sell for a higher price, um, sometimes still above list price, but certainly right at list price in almost every case. Um, so home prices continue to appreciate. My guess is going into 2024 and a year from now when I'm recording another video like this, home prices are going to be up in that same kind of, same kind of range again. I don't think that um, there's anything factually based, anything in all the numbers and all the neighborhoods that I'm looking at that suggests home prices are about to turn and go the other way. So if you're thinking about buying, now is better than a year from now because you're going to be paying who knows, six, eight, ten percent more for the same home that you could buy this year. So I definitely think home prices are going to continue in that trend going upward. That's a big increase, that nine to ten percent over the same time last year. And then finally, let's talk about interest rates for a minute. And I think this is an important message, in particular for folks that are thinking about buying a home in 2024 my professional recommendation would be you do it sooner rather than later. Rates have dropped a pretty good amount. I don't know that I think they're going to drop a lot more. The potential is always there for you know, them to continue to go down a little bit more. But what's going to happen is it's in very short order here. I believe we're going to see all the people that put their home search on hold last year in 2023 um, because of the rising rates 
are now going to start to come back into the market. And we're going to, so we're going to have more buyers and we're not going to have that many more listings for them to choose from. So there's going to be more competition, more multiple offer situations again, more people back to paying 10, 15,000 over list price to get the to win the bid, to get the house. And so you're going to end up paying quite a bit more if you wait, I believe. Only time will tell. I don't have a crystal ball, but I do study the real estate market every day and every week. And that's what I see where we're headed. Rates are going to drive people back into the market. It's a much better interest rate now than it was 30, 60 days ago, for sure. And um, we don't see an increase in, in inventory of homes for sale. There's going to be a lot of competition. The, the month of January may still be kind of calm. As we get to February, I think we're really going to see things pick up. By March, April, and May, it could be quite crazy again. Only time will tell. But if you're thinking about buying a home, I would consider getting that search underway sooner rather than later. Perhaps getting into your home, getting it under contract before some of that craziness comes back. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions or if there's anything we can do to help you, please reach out. You can call us the phone number down below. Click the link to get to our website down below. Let us know how we can help you. We're always here. Happy to help. Give us a call. Visit our site www.lowryteam.com. I'll talk to you soon.